What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Pets, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Helps to side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Oracle card reading for June of 2022 for Sonic Capricorn. This can resonate if you have caps to any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Mid, Hamburg of your charts. But it's a free general collective reading. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. One may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific situation, not anybody else. This is a free general collective like reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with the rest, okay? Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 13,005 subscribers right now, so thanks so much for all the love and support. I uh, appreciate you guys so much. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I will not ever contact you asking you for a personal reading, or nor will I contact you asking you for money. So I just want to make that very abundantly clear. Okay, so let's get started. So um, I received some channelings in, so I'm going to go ahead and deliver them, and then I'm going to shuffle out. The first one um, I heard was, oh, also too, um, I encourage everyone to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, um, and North Node charts. Um, if you feel you, um, you know, maybe you can get some messages in there. It will um, help you more, possibly, um, if you are interested in doing that, okay? Okay, so the first channeling I received for Sonic Capricorn for June of 2022 was um, not looking back was the first one not looking back spirit of this you have some caps so energies can be reversed so it's either you not looking back or someone else not looking back on person people place or situation the second one i heard a uh, libra for some uh, aries for some and a sagittarius for some is about to betray uh capricorn in each way so libra sag and aries energy for some it may be one person um betraying you for some it may be two or two plus of these people but i heard libra sag and aries betrayal energy so it's like it's upcoming in the universe they could have libra sag or um libra sag or aries in their sun moon rising venus or them in here if you're charged you plug it in how it resonates however that resonates cats okay I just heard the fight of a lifetime just now. The fight of a lifetime. So this could be you going through a fight of a lifetime or someone you're connected to going through the fight of a lifetime or you're about to be going through a fight of a lifetime or someone you're connected to about to be going through a fight of a lifetime. Some kind of fight of a lifetime energy. You plug that in, however that resonates in one's life. I feel for some it could be medical conditions, um, like fighting for one's life, whether it's a CAPS or somebody connected to a CAPS, possibly, um, or some kind of very, very rough situation um, in some shape, form, or fashion. But some kind of fight of a lifetime energy, however that resonates. Hope everybody is doing well. Spirit messages you have some too many. I feel um, this is the second time I've got out cards in ex excess during this reading already, and we're already four minutes in. Double confirmation. So I feel one of you guys is emotional over person, people, place, or situation, or someone is emotional over you, or you have addictions, or you're dealing with someone with addictions. Only you know your story, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? If you think anyone else could benefit from my channel or would like my channel or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, please feel free to share my channel very publicly, um, word of mouth and social media. I very much appreciate it, you guys. It helps support a single mom with two kids and one of her income streams. Spirit messages you have sign of cups. And also, too, I want to tell you guys, too, while I'm finishing getting these cards out, I hashtag mean dropped. I've been mean dropping since the new moon and Gemini energy uh, the past three days. 
So um, they're on the community tab on the channel. So you just go to the com community tab and there's many, many, many means for your uh, viewing pleasure if you choose to do so. You can view them, you can share them, um, or choose not to view them, however that resonates. But I think they're awesome. Hopefully you guys think they're awesome too. Spirit messages, you have to sign of cats. Spirit messages, you have signed cats. A home is about to become very, very significant in a Capricorn's life. Third time excess of cards. Triple confirmation, you guys. Triple. And a lot of them this time. Good Lord. You're either emotional over person, people, place, or situation, or someone's emotional over you. Look at this crap. That's a lot of them. Or addictions whether you have them or somebody you're connected to does i mean i'm serious this is woo, triple confirmation already spirit messages you have a sign of caps so some kind of home energy um about to become significant in a capricorn's life now i feel that can go positive home energy or negative only you know your story not anybody else uh, maybe you're buying a home selling a home looking at a home showing a home if you're a realtor um some kind of home energy renovating a home maybe for some you're a home flipper house flipper, oh, or you're a home designer, possibly for some. Spare messages you have signed sign of caps. Only you know your story, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates. A Scorpio from a Capricorn's past is about to become very, very, very significant in their life in a negative sense. They're about to regret ever getting involved with the Scorpio energy. Heavy, dark arts and rituals there. Oh, my Lord. For some, a Scorpio. For some, a Libra. For some, both. Oh, my Lord. So, if that resonates for you, Capricorn, it's some kind of low vibrational, dark art, wilders, uh, Libra and... Um, Scorpionic energy. I feel they could be masculine or feminine. Libra or Scorpionic energy. They could have Libra or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, midheaven, or uh, Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, um, Caps. But it's somebody from your past. Uh, this Libra or this Scorpio energy. And they are dark arts wielders. Um, they either currently still wield. Dark arts, or they used to. How that resonates, okay? Yikes. Um, they're, it's about to become negative. It's about, they're about to become negative. Um, it's something negative is about to happen in your life regarding them. And somebody of your past, masculine or femme Libra, masculine or femme Scorpio, both dark arts, low vibrational energies. How that resonates, Capricorn? Yikes. Okay, for some, you could be dealing with another earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries, Leo, Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or they may have Jupiter charts. If you are, you have the turtle and the firefly energy. Turtle. A slow recovery. For some, you, for some, someone you're connected to. Okay, I heard a slow recovery. For some, um, you, slow recovering. For some, it's somebody you're connected to. So, um, you know, turtles, slow and steady rinse rinse the way race, basically, for turtles. Um, you know, it's not fast like the hair. Um, so, in this aspect, it's the slow recovery. Um whatever you're recovering from for some it's you for some it's somebody you're connected to um for some it could be dark arts um or or if you are a dark arts wielder only you know your story to anybody else are you high vibrational treat people with honesty trust respect morals values and integrity or are you not but there's already dark arts energy in here is what i'm saying and for some you were connected to dark arts people in the past so i feel for some you know about dark arts or you've wielded it either currently in the energetic space or in the past and I'm just being for real. 
For some, maybe not. But only you know your story, not anybody else. But what I'm saying is the slow recovery, dark arts always backfires, either a little bit or a lot. So for some, if you wielded dark arts, the slow recovery could be dark arts, um, recovering from dark arts for some. For some, not if you've never done it, okay? Only you know your story, not anybody else. But if it's not dark arts, it could be a surgery. It could be an illness. It could be any an accident, anything, okay? Whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. For some, it can be an earth sign or a fire sign that's recovering if it's not you, okay, or any other sign. Firefly. A Capricorn is about to get a spark of inspiration in the universe from someone they would have never expected to get it from. Very high vibrational individual. It's about to completely change this Capricorn's perspective on things in a huge way. About to cause this Capricorn to make power play moves they never thought they would make. Wow, that's beautiful, man. So you plug it in how it resonates, Caps. So it sounds like upcoming universe, it sounds like it hasn't happened yet, but it sounds like it's about to. You're about to get some kind of spark of inspiration. I heard from a high vibrational individual. So it could be masculine or feminine, high vibrational individual. But they treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, and integrity. They have the firefly energy. For some, it could be a fire sign. For some, it could be any other sign. But they're taking on firefly energy. The spark, firefly in this aspect is the spark of inspiration. They are high vibing. They, you know, their energy is positive, glowy, fire, light, firefly like light into the universe energy. Um, I think for some, you didn't see this in this person in the past, or you didn't want to see it, how that resonates. But you're, but you're seeing it now, or you're about to. Um, when you connect with this person and how you connect with them. Um, but you connecting with this person is about to give you a spark of inspiration in some shape, form, or fashion. For some, I think I heard hope. For some hope, for some inspiration, for some it might be both. You plug it in how it resonates. But how that resonates, it's when you, when you receive this spark of hope or inspiration from this person, or maybe both for some, it's going to change your perspective on this person. So I think you had a negative perspective on this person in the past, but I think it was because somebody put it in your mind to have a negative negative perspective of this person. I don't think it was something this person did physically to you or somebody else. I just think it was work, dark arts somebody was putting on your ass, verbal manipulation, lies, slander, gossip, etc., etc., etc. But you're about to see the real person this spark and the inspiration and the hope this person brings. And it sounds like it's about to bring you, or bring it to you. Um, so that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. You know, it's always good to put positive into the universe. It's always good to put positive, absolutely freaking lonely. Because, you know, you put negative into the universe, people remember that shit. They remember how you treated them. They remember what you did to them. They remember it. And that's just the truth. White dress. A Capricorn is really about to step up and provide information on a false marriage. They know this is a false marriage and they are tired of the lies in the community. Oh, well, you go with your bad self, Caps, if this resonates for you. There's some kind of false marriage energy in somebody's toxic ass community, basically. And one of you guys, you know about it. Um, and I'm just being brutal. You know about it. I heard you. Um, you are about to provide the uh, information on the false marriage because basically it sounds like it embarrasses your community. It sounds like it embarrasses your community because it sounds like you know, I heard you know the false, false marriage is fake. And it sounds like the whole damn community knows false marriage is fake. Well, because it is, is what it, I mean, I heard it is. So I'm just saying, 
Um, I heard you're about to step up and expose it. Very, very, very publicly. Very, very, very publicly. So you're about to expose it very, very, very publicly. So however you expose it publicly, I don't know if this is social media. I don't know if you work for um, some kind of social media um, entertainment source or or you just utilize a social media platform, or you are an influencer or a promoter, or you are a position of authority, or however you're going, or maybe you work in the legal sector, or you make phone calls to important people. Um, I mean, I'm not sure who you're gonna expose this to, but whoever you're gonna expose, it's going, it's going to create many, 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 many negative series of chain events for this asshole, masculine energy. It's going to create basically a ton of negative series of chain events for this asshole masculine energy. So it's a masculine energy that put a um, either another femme or another masculine into a false marriage. But the thing is, is why? Obviously, it was for money. And the thing is, false marriages are fake. I mean, no, I'm sure the other person has no damn clue they're in the false marriage because they never consented to be in the false marriage. And the thing is, is there are things called divorces in 2022 and things called lawsuits. That's not even a divorce. That's a lawsuit right there. And that person should be in prison. And I'm just being serious. It is embarrassing. It's freaking A embarrassing is what that is. So in this aspect, white dress is um, the wedding dress that never occurred because it was a false marriage. So embarrassing. So embarrassing is what I just heard. So embarrassing. Yeah. So there was never no wedding dress. This part, I'm sure no pictures of this person in a wedding gown next to the person in the tuxedo, or maybe it's two masculines and two femmes. Like, I feel wedding photo energy that never happened is what I'm trying to say with this white dress energy with false marriage. Wedding photos that never happened because it didn't happen. Someone is getting a huge ass wake up call. Huge. Someone is getting a huge ass wake up call, huge. It could have been an earth sign or a fire sign that was put in a false marriage because you have the earth sign and fire sign energy or not. But one of you guys knows about a false marriage in your toxic ass community. You're about to really step up and be bold with the firefly energy and reveal it, whoever you are and how that applies. But yeah, what well, hell? There's no proof. There's no, I'm sure there's no damn wedding photos because it never freaking occurred. I'm sure. Well, there's no wedding photos, no uh, honeymoon photos, no photos of these people probably in the universe because the other person don't even know they're in the damn marriage. That's crazy. Caring connections. A significant get well letter for some, card for some, gift for some soon. Oh, that's beautiful. I heard a significant um, get well letter, card, and gift for some soon. Somebody's been ill in here. I'll tell you that. One of you guys. One of you guys have, you've been ill. Um, for some, it could be somebody you're connected to with a get well card, letter, or um, gift. But I'm feeling for at least one of you guys, you've been ill. And I'm serious. Um, or you're about to be ill. Um, however that resonates. But some kind of illness, I think, of a Capricorn. For some, it's somebody you're connected to. But some kind of get well letter card or um, gift, if that resonates for you. Um, caring connections in this aspect is the get well letter card or gift. Um, that's beautiful. It really is, you guys. A Capricorn is about to call federal agents regarding a false marriage. 
It's going to create many series of chain of events. Oh my God, I heard a Capricorn. Somebody knows about a false marriage. And I'm as serious. It's all in here. So you care, whoever this is for, you care about the person that was put in a false marriage and you're about to help them. One of you guys is about to call federal agents. One of you guys is about to expose it publicly. Now, whatever action you take, only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. I feel for some, this person could, could have been put in a false marriage for some. Or you could be this person about to expose the uh, false marriage um, with dark complexion or hair, feminine energy, or masculine that takes on fem. Um, I'm serious. It's all in here. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Uh, college scholarship is about to become very significant in Capricorn's life. A college scholarship is about to become very significant in a um, Cap's life. Well, that's beautiful, you guys. So um, that could be you getting a college scholarship or, or maybe your child getting a college scholarship or somebody you're connected to getting a college scholarship. That's really beautiful. Um, that's really beautiful. I had one when I got out of um, high school at 17, but I was stupid and made bad decisions. And then I had to go back to school at like 28. Um, but I, I was lucky and had a scholarship. Thank goodness. Um, but some kind of college scholarship energy, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, um, that's the, um, giving, um, I'm sorry, receiving a precious gift. That's, and that's one of the best gifts you can receive right there is some kind of scholarship energy. I've always been, uh, I preach that to my children all the time. Um, education first, absolutely. Because it, it'd do nothing but pay off for you in the long run. When well, when you're not getting wrongfully terminated. And that's just the truth. A Capricorn is about to learn of an informant in their workplace soon. Transfer. Oh, shit. I heard a Caps is about to learn of an informant in their workplace soon. Transfer is what I heard. Informant. So I'm thinking might be informant to the feds. If they're not an informant to the feds, federal agents, they might be an informant to somebody else, but... When I hear informant, usually, I mean, I'm presuming it's to federal agents. Now, they might be an informant to some crazy cultist group, Coven, or informant to somebody else. But when I hear informant, I think fed energy. But you have to plug it in your own life, how it resonates. But some kind of informant energy, whether it's to a cult, a gang, a Coven, some kind of low vibrational like group, or to federal agents. But I heard transfer, so I don't know if you're going to uh, request a transfer for yourself or you are a position of high authority and you're going to transfer this person, however that resonates, okay? Dark woman, dealing with a relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. A Capricorn has already lost all respect for a very low vibrational Libra. Another one is about to. Serious sex videos are about to be, about to go very, 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 very public and spread very, all around, very much. This is an older feminine energy Swinger, polyamorous, wild lifestyle. Oh, my Lord. Swinger, polyamorous, wild lifestyle, older fem, Libra energy. For some, you've already lost respect for this person. For some, you're about to. Now, older in the throw, I deem as 35 or above. Um, that could be the betrayal energy from this Libra energy. Um, earlier message, possibly. Because I heard Sag, Libra, and there was another one. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Um, 
yeah, you probably get how it resonates. But if you've got some wild child, I mean, she's not even a child, a wild woman energy. Um, I'm feeling she's 35 or above. She could have dark complexion or dark hair. Um, and she has Libra in her chart in some shape, form, or fashion, either in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, Hamer, Jupiter charts. But she has a history of swinging, polyamory, and, um, and drug use. And through many series of chain of events, one Capricorn is about to prove this. And drug use. Oh, shit. And I heard through many series of chain of events, one of you guys is going to prove the drug use for her. So I feel for some, you might be a position of high authority over her in a workplace, is what I feel. Somehow you're going to be able to provide uh, proof that she's a drug user, is what I'm saying. You are about to prove she's a drug user. This swinger, polyamorous, wild woman life, lifestyle, and apparently she has a history of it, and, she's, and she loves and like she loves it there. Um, you're about to prove it. So I feel you're either a social worker or you're either a social worker or you are a physician of high authority and about to administer a random drug test or you are a nurse that works in a jail because I used to be a nurse that works in a jail and we do, uh, we do, well, we did drug screens on everybody. Well, you're supposed to. Some nurses didn't, but I did. Um, or, I'm trying to think what else you could be to administer her a drug screen. She's a woman. So, I mean, you, you have to be in some kind of circumstance to administer it to her. I feel you're either her boss, manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. Um, or, you are a social worker and you get called out. Or you are a nurse in a jail. That's what I'm thinking here. Or any other way, you will have the authority to administer her a drug screen. Um, but somehow, one of you guys is about to prove it. I'll tell you that. Um, she is an older Libra in energy, a history of swinging and polyamory and drug use and wild child, well, not even wild child, wild woman energy. Um, one, you're about to learn she... She's like this one, you already have realized it. Um, and it's about to embarrass the hell out of you, basically. It's about to embarrass the hell out of you. And for so, for one, you're about to prove drug use, but I think you're about to prove it through a random drug screen in some kind of situation you're with and her in the universe. That's exactly what I feel, but only you know your story, not anybody else. Um, however, that resonates. And I heard some kind of sex video energy was about to start going viral. I think it has her in it. Um, that's exactly what I think. Maybe she free willingly is a star in there, or maybe she's not. I don't know, but somehow I feel she's not videotaping this. I feel she is the star or stars up. Uh, yikes. Just saying. It is about to mortify the hell out of you. It is about to mortify the hell out of you is what I just heard. Oh, dear Lord. Maybe for some, she's a porn star. And I mean, I'm not trying to be crass, but I'm just being for real. For real. Maybe she's a porn star or a wannabe porn star. Maybe she's hoping these videos get leaked. I mean, she doesn't. I'm just being for real. I'm just being frank on here. I mean, you can click off if it makes you feel uncomfortable. But here's the deal. She has a history of swinging, a history of polyamory, a history of wild woman behavior. She doesn't want to quit. Now there's about to be a sex video leaked of her. I think for some of these wild women energies, they want it to be leaked for intention. And I'm just being serious. They have no plans of quitting. It'd be different if they had, um, if there was a sex video and somebody leaked it and then there was never another sex video because that person had changed their ways and their, um, their lifestyle. This person has not changed their lifestyle. They keep on doing the same old cycle over and over and over and over and over again. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Huge. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Huge. I'm serious, Caps. I'm serious. You have to think about it logically like that. This person has no desire to change. They have no desire to change. And it's a grown-ass woman. Like, how embarrassing is that? Whoa!
For one of you, this is a very high vibrational feminine energy of your past. You're about to pay it forward to her in a huge way. You betrayed her in a huge way in the past. Okay. So for one of you guys, it's a low vibrational 35 or above wild woman Libra energy, basically. That's situation one. Situation two, it's a very high vibrational fem energy of your past. I heard you betrayed her in a huge way in the past, but you are about to pay it forward to her. Um, so I think you're in regret that you uh, that you um, that you betrayed her. Situation two over here, I think you are, are in regret that you betrayed her. I heard she's very high vibrational fem energy of your past, so she's not in current energetic space with you. I don't think you deal with her in the three D. Um, I don't think you're around her. Blase, blase, blase. She is of your past, but um, but you betrayed her. So I think she's a, in your past for a reason because you betrayed her for some. For some, it could be some other reason. But however that resonates, you're in. Re I feel you're in regret that you betrayed her in the past. I didn't hear you were, but I feel for some of you, you are. But I heard you're about to pay it forward to her. And that's another reason why I think you're in regret because you're about to pay it forward to her. You betrayed her in the past. I feel for some of these fem energies, they know, high vibrational fem energies, they know you betrayed her. I mean, they know you betrayed them, basically. It's a fem energy. She could have dark complexion or dark hair. So you have situation one, wild woman energy. Situation two, high vibrational fem energy of your past. You plug it in how it resonates. Lord have mercy, man. This is some hot mess express. Some of it is. A dumpster fire in a workplace situation is about to become very, very, very significant in a Capricorn's life. Huge, huge, huge problems here, and it's about to get a lot worse. Know this. Oh, my Lord. Okay, so some kind of workspace situation energy however that resonates and applies in your life capricorn i feel guided for one of these i didn't do it for the other sides but i feel guided for yours um some kind of dumpster fire workspace energy i feel for some your manager bosses supervisors and ceos and i'm being serious about this i do i feel for a lot of you guys you're probably manager bosses supervisors or ceos for some you could just be an employee but you have to plug yourself in where you fit but however that resonates um, some kind of work, it sounds like the workspace has already blew up in flames. Like, it sounds like it's very unorganized, um, unethical, probably in some of these situations. Just very, very, very not a nice place to work, basically. Um, and I think people recognize that, or they're about to, and I'm serious. Um, but, but however that resonates. It sounds like it's already been bad, and it's going to get, I heard it's going about to get a lot worse. A lot worse. It is about to mortify a Capricorn. A lot worse. It's about to mortify a Capricorn. I think it might have to do with Chickadoo number one over here. I think one of you guys have, has either hired this person into your workspace, or you're about to. This party all day long, Libra and 35 or above, wild woman energy. Or you do business with her, or she's a business partner. However, that resonates. Lord, she sounds like a hot mess. But however that resonates, I heard it's about to get a lot worse. Whether it's a business, and then she's your business partner, or it's a workspace situation. However, that resonates. But I heard it's going to get a lot worse. Know this. So just know, I think for a lot of you guys, it's involving this person. And I, I'm serious. I And I feel for some, maybe you betrayed this person because of this person is exactly what I think. But now you're having regrets because you're seeing the real damn truth or you're about to. And I'm just being serious. But you plug it in how it resonates. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Spirit messages you have signed a Capricorn. effortless an Aquarius masculine is about to be in for it 
Very low vibrational Aquarius masculine. This Capricorn is about to create negative series of chain of events for this person. Okay, I heard an Aquarius masculine is about to be in for it. Uh, very low vibrational Aquarius masculine. This Capricorn is about to, so you're a high vibrational Capricorn if this resonates for you, Taps. You're about to create negative series of chain of events for this low vibrational Aquarius masculine. <clears throat> Excuse me. For some of these low vibrational Aquarius masculines, I feel they might be the crazy person that put a femme energy in a false marriage. I'm serious because I heard it was masculine energy that did it. And I, 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 and one of you guys knows who did it. So I feel for some, it's that Aquarius masculine. But only you know your story, not anybody else. They could have Aquarius in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Midham, or Jupiter charts, if that resonates for you. Effortless. About to make a comeback for one. About to make a comeback for one is what I heard. So one of you guys is about to make a comeback in some shape, form, or fashion. So whatever you're coming back from, it could be an illness. It could be um, business. Maybe you have a business or businesses and it's about to make a comeback. Maybe you're going to get back in the workforce. Maybe you um, um, are about to do something positive and life-changing in the universe. However, that resonates. But that's really beautiful energy, some kind of comeback energy like comeback kid energy is what i'm feeling all right i love you guys so much everybody have a wonderful day and namaste